Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Leganes, and they take on Osasuna. Well, all the hard work to get to a cup final. Don't disappoint yourself. Don't disappoint those fans. Go out and make it yours. Make that cup something you're really proud to win. Well, sometimes there's no great mystery in terms of a team's preferred style. And might be a chance here. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. comes and the danger cleared Oscar crossing possibilities this looks promising now the task is to remain focused and they nudge in front well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, it's a beautifully crafted goal. The supply line worked perfectly there, and he finishes it off with ease. Lovely goal. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Read it magnificently and intercepted. It's with Oscar. Braithwaite has it. Keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Siovas on the ball. Omeruo. Ruben Perez. And it's with Rocky Mesa. And he's clear as well.
Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. It's Amiens up against Rapid Vienna. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs. But it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never actually played in a Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what they're feeling. We can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? And here's the starting lineup for Amiens. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Diabate. Gael Kakuta. Tremendously strong in the tackle. The opposition starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him. Can't miss, surely! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Nas Milner has it. Oh, surely! Surely! And that was a heaven-sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. trying to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. And providing width. Christoph Knaas Müllner. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Throw-ins given. On the ball, Blair. And it's Sammy with it. It's with Diabate. Diabate. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Nice and easy for the keeper. And it's Sammy with it. On the ball, Blair. Straight down the throat of the opposition.
Well, this long wait is finally over. We have reached final day in this competition. Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith, to give you the commentary. It should be a very, very special match. Really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. Well, managers can learn a lot about their players in these kind of situations. Can they hold their nerve, produce the best football when the pressure is cramped up, as it certainly is here? This is the lineup. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. Put into the middle. Goalkeeper still in play. Let's check now on Genoa and their team lineup today. Ricardo Sapanara plays with Lasse Schöner in the centre of the pitch, and they've gone with two up front today. Daniele Desena. Is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Manager calling for the press, but he's still got the ball. Schoener. Poor on the ball. Daniele Desena. Still passing, but not really making inroads. They've been trying to do this, get the ball over the top. A well saved. Corner to be taken. swung in no nonsense defending it was needed Scherner and it will be a corner because of that deflection comes the corner and the defender able to clear it away Romero Laraga could whip it in from here good tackle will be a corner though Put the corner in the middle. Keeper doing his job. Alfredo Donnarumma. in behind must score that did look like a real opening but they've dealt with it a corner
corner played into the middle not wanting to catch the corner he's fisted it away from danger now can he cross it that's an important clearance Ricardo Saponara he could take them on here Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Unmarked in the middle. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with those volleys.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me. The start of the Champions League, always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. Well, Lee, interested to get your opinion in the potential approach of the visitors today. Well, I suppose you can't blame them for travelling away and adopting a defend-what-we-have mentality. Let's see if that pans out for them today. I'm not so sure it will. Read it superbly to take back possession. This is how it looks for the home side. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. And teammates to play it to. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Tomasz Netsi. power lead but it's wide well no real direction but the power was there and you're right it's just gone past the post Immers. Intelligent threaded pass here. 